Hello, today we're doing an experiment. We're going to be mixing solids with warm water and seeing what happens. Now, a solid is something which you have to do something to it for it to change shape. So, this ruler is a solid. I have to bend it for it to, for it to change shape. Almost broke then. This stick, well, I can bend it and it'll break. I have to do something to it. Now this, do you know what this is? This is salt, okay? This salt comes from the ground. They turned it into a lamp. And you can get salt like this, and you can change the shape of salt by crushing it. And it's still a solid, but it's more like a powder now. And we've got some flour here. And flour is a powder. It's still a solid, but it's been crushed into a powder. And we've also got some sand. I haven't got sand here right now, but I'll show you the sand later. And a liquid is something which just flows really easily. So milk is a liquid. Water is a liquid. Look, it's changing shape straight away. Don't need to do much to it for it to change shape. Little wobble, it'll change shape all over the place. And dissolve means that you're putting one material, which is a solid, into a different material, which is a liquid. And if it dissolves, you won't be able to see it. It will change into a liquid and join with that other liquid. And today the liquid that we're going to be putting things into is water, warm water and we're going to record it. Whatever happens, we're going to record it. And I've made a little table here, and it says mixing solids with water. We're going to write down what the solid is, and if it dissolves, we're going to give it a tick, and at home, I want you to give me a thumbs up. And if it doesn't dissolve, you can still see it, we're going to put it under not dissolve, and you give me a thumbs down at home, okay? Show me dissolved. Thumbs up, you won't be able to see it. Not dissolved. Thumbs down. Let's go. So we're going to put three spoons of salt into the warm water and see what happens. Let's count them. One. Two. Three. And then I'm going to stir it. So what is happening to the salt? Can you still see it? Is it dissolving? I'm going to put three teaspoons of sand into the water. Let's count. One, two, three, and then I'm going to stir it. What's happened to the sand? Can you still see it? It's gone right to the bottom. Has it dissolved? Finally, I'm going to put three teaspoons of flour into the water. One, two, three, and then I'm going to stir it. What's happened to the flour in the water? Can you still see it? Has it dissolved? 
I left each class for an hour. Let's see what's happened. With the water in the flower, well, it looks a bit cloudy, but I can see water at the top and it looks like almost all the flower is at the bottom. I'm going to try and get some out and show you what it's like. doesn't really look like flower anymore, does it? But you can still see it, it hasn't dissolved. This is what the water and sand looks like after one hour. All the sand has sunk to the bottom. And let's see what... The water and salt looks like. Can you see any salt? I can't. It's all disappeared. It's all dissolved. We're being scientists, so we need to write down, we need to record what happened. So, with our table, we're going to write down the materials and we're going to write down if it dissolved or didn't dissolve. Remember, thumbs up, thumbs down. So I'd better fill out my table. Now, what was my first solid? It was salt. Can you send out salt for me? Four sounds. What's the first sound? S oh, salt. Is it? Was there a sound before that? Sol. Ooh. So I'm going to write that down. S oh. So I'm writing phonetically. Dissolves or dissolves or not dissolves. Well, that clearly dissolved into it. You couldn't see any salt left at all. So we're going to give it a big tick. Next one was sand. Show me four thread fingers again. What's the first sound in sand, sat, sit? And salt as well. Now, what's the next sound in sand? Sa. S. A. Sand. What's that third sound? Is it the? Sand. Mm. And what's the last sound in sand? D. So I'm going to write that down. S. A. N. D. Then I check it's and uh, sand. Good. Right. Dissolve or not dissolve? Clearly did not dissolve. You could still see the sand there. And the last one was flower. Flower is quite a long word. Let's clap the beats. Flower. First beat. Flower. Three sounds. Show me three thread fingers. First sound. F. Next sound. Flool. Flool. Little sound. Flow. What's the last in flow? Is it or, er, uh, ow, or oi? Ow. So I'm going to write that down. O, ow. Or, ow, flow, er. Uh. Two sounds in. Mm. Is it flow, were? Mm. Were. Two sounds in were. Were. What's the last sound? Were. Er. Uh. Okay. So I'm going to write my wuh. I've got wuh there already, but that's the W in the ow sound. Wuh, uh. How do I write the er sound? Comes at the end of the word. So, cow, coin, beard, chair, rubber. Which has got the er at the end? Chair or rubber? Rubber. Dissolves or not dissolves? Could you still see it? Mm, you can still see it, so it can't have dissolved. So we're going to say not dissolved. Big cross. For a bit of fun, we're going to try and get rid of the water and see what's left behind. 
Now I think with the flour and the salt I'm going to have to boil the water away but with this one I think it's pretty clear that the sand is at the bottom so all we need to do is pour the water that's at the top away and we're left with the sand. In this glass we've got water and salt in what's called a solution and I'm going to pour it into the pan and we're going to try and boil the water away and see what happens. What's happening to the water? What do you think's in the bubbles? And what's that coming out of the pan? What do you think the white spots are in the bottom of the pan? The water's boiled away and evaporated and it's just left the salt behind which is a solid again. Next I put the water and flour in the pan and it started boiling. At the edges where there was no water left it just started to get a bit burnt uh, but it didn't turn back into a powder and in the middle where there was still a little bit of water left it uh, looked a bit like play-doh. So what I'd like you to do at home is to make a table like I did and do an experiment and see which different solids uh, dissolve in warm water. So you could try coffee and there's different kinds of coffee. There's uh, instant coffee and there's coffee granules or coffee beans. You could try tearing open the tea bag and uh, trying tea leaves. You could try sugar, corn flour. That's a good one. Uh, you could try lots of different things, rice, pasta. So have a go and uh, post something on Tapestry. Hope you have a fun time. Bye-bye.